Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I would like to show you a one really cool thing that you may not heard about, but it's very helpful if you're using Linux Mint. It's called HTOP, the Live System Monitor. It's not available from scratch in Linux Mint, but you can easily install it. And today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get it done. All right, the first thing you want to do is open up your terminal. You can either click on it over here at the bottom panel, or you can just simply press Ctrl Alt T. I prefer to use the shortcuts because once you learn and memorize the shortcuts, it's a lot quicker than trying to navigate to the bottom panel or going to the menu and clicking it over here. So definitely try to memorize all the shortcuts and you will be a lot more efficient and quick. And by the way, if you want to learn a couple more keyboard shortcuts in Linux Mint, I have a separate video about five most common keyboard shortcuts. You can check it out. This will help you use your Linux Mint a lot more efficient and quick. Nevertheless, let's continue on. So let's go ahead and press Ctrl L T. Voila. So it's opened up. Now, once you're in the terminal, installing HTOP is super simple. First of all, I would like to show you the simple system monitor that you can access without installing HTOP. It is actually called top. So just type top and then press enter. And this is gonna give you the system monitor that is already pre-installed in your Linux Mint. It is a bit like hard to understand what's going on because it's all kind of crowded over here, but you can still use it. You said, as you can see, it says here, CPU percentage used. And then these are the total processes, the, the uptime, 13 minutes the total memory, memory swap, free memory, used memory. So yeah, it, it's okay, but I mean, it's not super nice looking. So we're just gonna quit that. If you wanna just escape from it, just press Q. And we're gonna try to run HTOP. So maybe try it out. Maybe if you have it already, you don't need to install it. So we're just gonna type HTOP and press enter. And as you can see, if it's a brand new Linux Mint and you have never used it, you're probably gonna get this command htop not found, but it can't be installed with sudo app install htop. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is very great because Linux Mint is actually already telling you the command that you need to use to install htop. This is like super simple. So of course, we're gonna just type sudo apt install htop and press enter. The system will ask you for your password. So go ahead and type that in and press enter. After that, it's gonna download a couple of small packages and you're good to go. It literally takes just a few seconds. Once it finishes installing, you can start htop right away by typing htop and press enter. Voila, check this out. Look how much better it looks than the regular top. As you can see here, it actually shows you all your cores. For example, I have the six core here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six cores. And you can see the loads on each core. So this is very great. Also, it shows you your memory. As you can see, we're using one gigabyte of RAM. That's it. Like you're running like a full operating system with only one gigabyte of RAM. I'm just thinking about Windows where I'm using like six gigabyte when I'm just starting my windows. That's crazy. So, so definitely much better than windows and your swap. As you can see, the swap is not used because I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. I don't really need the swap so I could run without it. Then here you see all the processes. You see the, which process is run. It's under root or under the user. For example, Pulsar, you have the process ID then you have some other information here how much cpu percentage is used how much memory percentage is used and how long it's been running basically as you can see if it's just started or if it's been running for a while so yeah this is great if you want to monitor your system and you can even scroll down and see all the processes so as you can see there's that's that's the whole process and also down here you get in some clues how to use it so you can search for the process you can filter you can tree, sort by, and other things. You can kill the process, or if you wanna just quit this program, you just press F10 and it will be closed. This updates live, so if you open your apps or run something heavy, 
you'll see the bars moving in real time. Let's go ahead and try it out. So for example, I'm just gonna open up the Firefox and check out this memory usage here. So I'm just gonna open it up and just gonna minimize it. Yeah, look at that. So right away after opening Firefox, it just jumped like boom, like 600 more megabyte. So, and the CPU usage went up a bit. So yeah, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so it's just like a system monitor, but if you don't know about it, it's you're missing out. So what I really like about the HTOP is that it's very clean, colorful, and easy to read. Everything updates smoothly, so you always know what's going on with your system. If you want to sort the processors, for example, by the CPU usage, you can just press F6. And now we have it sorted by the CPU usage. For example, I want to sort it by the memory usage. So just go to the memory usage and press enter. And now it's sorted by the memory usage. And yeah, let's just sort it by priority. Now it's sorted by priority. So yeah, you have everything you need here is you just press F6 and use the arrow keys and choose how you want it to be sorted. If you want to kill the process, maybe something is stuck or misbehaving, just select it with the arrows, press F9 and pick the signal. Usually kill works fine. So let's say I'm just gonna start this Firefox and then I'm just gonna sort it out by memory. And let's go ahead and kill this process. So just press F9, choose this signal kill and press enter. And when you're done using HTOP, you can simply press Q to exit or just press F10. So let's just go ahead and try Q. Boom, it's done. Now it's closed. You can open it up anytime. Just type HTOP and it's open again and then close it. So that's simple. So that's basically it. HTOP is one of those tools that you don't think about at first, but once you know it's there, you can use it all the time. It's super useful to see what's happening on your system in real time without any complicated setup. So that's it. If you find this video helpful and want to learn more about Linux Mint, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you find this video helpful, please support it with a like. I appreciate it very much. This is going to help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting Linux videos. If you will have any comments, questions, suggestions, please drop them down in the comment section below. And I also have a lot of other helpful videos on my channel. So you can check out my Linux playlist where you can learn other helpful tips and tricks on Linux Mint and other Linux distros. For example, other helpful beginner terminal commands that you need to know. So I'm going to put the link in the description. Make sure to check it out. And of course, if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use Super Thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm going to put the links in the description. I appreciate it very much, but this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.